We'll see. We'll see how things are going at that time. Dear God! <laughs> Relax, buddy. Next time I run out of bait, we gotta remember that I have some in my uh, treasure chest thingy. No, come on. That's why I need that lead bobber thingy. Ah! Damn it. So close. Um, how many do we have left? 31. I guess I could just take it. Take it off. Nah. We'll just use it. You had a seven foot tall inflatable Godzilla when you were a kid? Oh my god, well, Lantis. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Was it one of the ones that was, um, it had like sand at the bottom so it could stand up, like on its own? Winterfish exists purely to piss you off. Yeah, that it really do seem it like that right now, don't it? I'm moving to another area. <laughs> I don't know how much that'll actually help, but we'll see. Hi, Abigail. Love you. Oh, I love when she says that. It always, it always makes my heart feel nice. Someone bring me red mushroom. I have that to give you, my dear. Uh, buy things for me. Cool. Later. One of your aunt's friends was dancing with it at a party and broke it? The Godzilla? Oh my god. How old were you? I would have been so upset. Even as an adult. Maybe more upset as an adult, because at that point it's like nostalgic and important to me personally. I would have been very pissed. Alright, I think, um... I think the best we can do, money-wise. So, let's put this stuff back. Snooch is sleeping with the candy canes. Um... Doing that, that's fine. I'll just keep this in my pocket. No. Uh, I'll put them away. Uh, but Abigail wanted a red mushroom. And I have one of those. So I'm going to take one just in case I see her again. You were like five or six is around when, when Roland Emmerich Godzilla came out. Oh. Oh. Poor baby Wolantis. I would have bought five-year-old you a new one if it if it helps. <laughs> she went up this way. Where do you think she went? I don't want to waste too much time. I want to go down to the thing. How much time do I have to give it to her? Two days. I'm going down to the beach. I'll give her the mushroom tomorrow. Hey, Pam. We're not cool. Just letting you know. <laughs> Cried at the end of that movie because Godzilla died. Damn. It's emotional. It's true. Alright, what do you have? We didn't really buy anything from you yesterday. We Oh, no, we did. We bought the candy canes. That's right. That's right. Okay, I'm remembering. Hum. So we know we have this one. And we have this one. I know we have that at home. I'm gonna wait on that. We'll see. I'll think about it. Oh, see, I like this one. This one's cool. We need a thousand to go fishing, though, don't we? What? These are all so cool. There's the seeds. Okay, I don't need any of the rest of this stuff, but I do want... I do kind of want the suit of armor. Yeah, I could see that this would be one of those ones that is hard the first year. It's kind of like how the first year at the, the flower dance or whatever, that you just know you're not going to have a partner to dance with. It's just kind of like that. Hmm. I like the parrot, too. Well, shit. Well, shit. What y'all doing? I want... I want to... I want to look at everything first. Damn, escargot, bruschetta. 
We can make those things later, though. I don't need any of this stuff or anything. This isn't really... This isn't really necessary for me right now. Um... Man, I just don't think we have a whole ton of options currently. I do think it's worth it to go fishing. So I will do that. Um, so I will make sure I have at least a thousand gold for that. Which means... I don't really, I don't really care about the seasonal plants right now. Hi, Haley. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, we are one. We are closer than ever. Don't worry if you're not dressed for this because I'm literally morphing into your body. I'll keep you warm. It'll be fine. Shane's insane, right? We have talked about that. Let's see. Hmm. I want this painting. <laughs> it kind of, it looks, it's like one of the mermaids. Um, but if I buy it, I won't be able to fish. I'm not going to buy it. Mm, no, I'm not going to buy it. I am, however, going to buy this parrot. <laughs> All right. Time to fish. In that movie, that well, doesn't, that's not considered one of the, uh, the like actual Godzilla. Everyone just calls it Zilla. Interesting. And everyone hates it. <laughs> I, You know what? I've never thought about the Godzilla fan base, but that sounds like a force to be reckoned with. Uh, yeah, we're going on it right now. I'm doing it. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. And I'll fish a bunch, and then I'll eat that fishing meal, the dish of the sea. Even though I don't nearly need as much benefits as it gives me, it does give me plus two fishing. So maybe we'll catch some, some something rare down here. Oh, okay. The uh, damn it! I keep getting too eager, I'm doing it too quickly. <laughs> um. The science behind this is, uh, is just, just boggles the mind, truly. Don't, please, don't, please, 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 just let me, please. I'll put you in an aquarium if I get one. <laughs> I won't even eat you. Whoa! <laughs> Hell yeah! We got a blobfish! Fuck yeah! The Godzilla fandom is terribly elitist. I believe that. That sounds like one of the last. I have recently realized that I don't. I don't often like um, involving myself in fandoms for anything. Recently, I, I don't know. A lot of it just ends up being like, like you said, that kind of elitism, and then um, like really weird, judgmental things, and like I don't know. It almost a lot of I don't I haven't been able to be like find a nice we're getting some new stuff I haven't been able to find um, a fan base recently that Enriched my Interaction or my experience with whatever the media was it usually just ends up making me Uncomfortable and like have bad associations with the media So I just end up not talking about things that I like or like finding things on the internet about it <laughs> Too many people who are self-proclaimed in fandoms are clinically insane. Yeah, gatekeeping and shit also. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which sucks because, like, obviously there's, like, also large amounts of of people who, um, who aren't like that. Is that a mermaid on the left? Did y'all just see that? Oh my god. Um, obviously there's lots of people who are super cool who like things that, presumably, that, that you also like. So, uh, it's annoying when the bad folks make it less less fun seen one Godzilla movie the one with Walter White in it and loved it neat I don't know which one that is <laughs> I haven't seen any of the Godzilla movies since probably like 2001 actually now that I really think about it I, it was one of those things I was really into growing up with my dad and then uh yeah I thought I had seen one of the newer ones. 
But now that I'm thinking about it, I haven't. Damn. Oh, motherfucking Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah, I really um miss I miss that franchise, but I'm not surprised to hear that there it's not it's not the most fun folks. When my dad took me to the movie theaters to see the one with Matthew Broderick, um, we had to leave early because I cried because I was scared. <laughs> uh, arguably, my father should have considered not taking a five-year-old um, to see like a very gritty, edgy, new millennia uh, monster movie. You know, should have really thought about it, but that's fine. The sequel to that one is King of the Monsters. See, I feel like I saw- no, I must not have. That's 2014, and then the sequel to the 2014 one? I definitely didn't see that. I haven't seen one that recently at all, for sure. Let's see if I can pull this off, or if I just totally screwed myself. No, I think I can do it. There we go. Please, please. There we go. More Midnight Squid Buddies. Oh, neat. Neat. Um, what time is it? 11? Um, all right, I'm eating the thing. Oh, that's because I'm not on the thing. Here we go. It worked out, though. There we go. Yes, please. Come on. Help a girl out. I can do this. Don't, please. Please, I'm begging you. Hey! We did it! Blobfish! New friend. Never cried from fear in a movie theater, but yeah, but you watch a lot of scary movies. Valid. Yeah, I uh, I don't remember that, I just was told that story, so I, I, I wish I could provide more insight. <laughs> but, <laughs> um... I'm trying to think of any other bad... I don't know anything else about things at the movie theater when I was a kid, um, other than I think the first movie I saw in theaters was Grease, which is hilarious because I'm not 67 years old. Um, <laughs> they were just like playing it in theaters um, because uh, like it was like a re, you know, how sometimes they just do fun shit, like they'll just play play an old movie at the theater for a while just to, just to have fun. Um, all right, one more fish and then we gotta go. Remember seeing the 1999 movie? The 1999 Mummy. When you're seven, that's quite a movie. Oh my god, yeah. Definitely cried from general emotions in the theater, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same. Oh my god, there's a child screaming. Hello? Are you okay? Do I need to call someone? Hello? Could never finish Fantasia as a kid because the demon sequence was so dark and brutal. Who was I just talking to that said that? Was that on stream the other day that someone was like, I never was able to watch Fantasia because it was too scary as a kid? Was that on... I know Steven said he didn't like it when he was really little because he thought it was boring because he didn't get, like really little when he watched it. He was like, like, like five or something. But yes, agreed, Josh. It's incredible now. I really love Fantasia. Uh, get me to bed. Uh, whole family went to see Passion of the Christ in theaters, which was one weird, and two, I cried because I was like, "Damn, they really did him like that." <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, Josh, you might have mentioned it the other day, but I feel like I would have. Oh, cool, we got a lot of money. Um, fucking. Uh, oh, I lost my train of thought. Um, I, my church didn't let us, uh, I was too young. They wouldn't let me go to see it, but uh, my whole, like, youth group went. Sorry to bother getting you know, a favor, hammer, I tried a variety of metals. Could you smelt an iron bar and bring it to me? Yeah, I'll bring me an iron bar. No problem. No problem. Um. Passion is brutal. Um, I don't actually remember if I ever ended up seeing it. I think uh, the fact that I wasn't allowed to go, I was already of an age where it was like, all right, but I'm already like seeing shit. Like I already know what this is about. Like don't 
patronize me. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna sell it. Oh, goodbye, my friend. But it was definitely also, uh, completely understandable to not want me to go see it. How, when year, what year did that come out? How old would I? I must have been... I was old enough to be like, well, I just don't understand why I'm not allowed to go see this, like... I already know what happens. Spoiler alert. Like, <laughs> I know what happens to Jesus Christ. <laughs> but, like, uh, it must have been... I must have been young enough that they were like, no, this is this is a bad idea. You, it wouldn't be... You wouldn't have a good time. <laughs> Sarah, you were in middle school and that was just too much. Yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, it, it is a particularly intense and... Uh, emotionally upsetting and violent movie that's for damn sure they really the, the 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 christians the catholics really like to go hard don't they um i think we should put the stone bird here i kind of wanna oh it's not centered with the other thing though hold on give me this 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 come back here just one little block over is that no, we're doing we're doing this give me that I prefer that. And maybe we could just put... To kind of... No. Does it put the ch the thing under my feet? Hold on. Don't do that. There we go. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Okay. Saving this fish. Parents rented E.T. for you once and you refused to watch it because your main experience with aliens at that point was the X-Files and you were terrified. Bro, that's so fucking valid. Um, once again, my dad, uh, when I was... I don't even know how old I was. I must have been like seven or something. Um, <laughs> my poor dad. I, uh, I like came into his, uh, his bedroom while he was watching TV. Uh, I don't, I remember it being daylight, so it was, like, normal that I would have been like, What are you doing? I want to hang out. And he was like, Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, totally. Um, like, I'm just watching TV. And he was watching some, like, ridiculous documentary about, um... Do I want to put... I'm just gonna leave these in here for now. I'm not, I'm not reorganizing. I just, I, I just, I get distracted. Uh... And uh, it was this documentary about like people who were claiming to have been abducted by aliens, and it legitimately affected me, capital fucking A. Like I was so fucking scared. I didn't sleep for like a really long time to the point where my mom was like, "Jim, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why did you let her watch this?" Because they were like really graphic, like fucked up, scary things, and like, oh my god, it was so bad. And like they had this like, um, uh. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if it was real or not. Obviously, I don't remember like the the what type of thing this. Oh, I gotta get the milk bucket thingy. Um, let's drink coffee so we walk a little faster, get more done. Um, but it was like somebody who had claimed that they had like some giant needle shoved into their neck, and they had this like like fucked up lesion looking thing on them. And, uh, that stuck with me, obviously, until now, you know, like, 20 years later or whatever, so it scared me enough as a kid. And, uh, yeah, I didn't sleep for, like, days. My mom was so pissed at my dad. Uh, let's, okay, hold on. Please? No, 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 don't hit the chickens. Okay. Was that four? It was four. I don't know why that's so hard for me. Okay. Oh, there's more mace down here. Hold on. Don't want to forget about that. Oh, yeah. We haven't been down here in a minute. Okay. We have stuff to pick up. Anything else? Mm. You'd fuck E.T. up. Yeah, Josh, you could beat up an alien. That's true. I believe that. No? Oh, there we go. You're still a baby. Okay. Mom and you would watch 48 hour mysteries and shit like to catch a predator. And another one. You can't remember the name of it. It would keep you up at night. Bro, I'm serious. That shit was so scary. I had the same type of thing with my family growing up. Like, why, like, why are you letting me watch this? I know you want to have adult time, but like, 
why is this happening my mom was never really the person for that though that was i i gotta i gotta say sorry dad but that was definitely my dad being like she can handle it and i'm like fucking five or whatever so like no father i can't like i know you really want me to grow up to be tough and strong but like <laughs> it's not happening i'm gonna keep the snow yam for some energy uh oh clint wanted an iron bar okay took you until your teens not be afraid of aliens yes dude no that's super fucking fair well you know what had scared me is that in that documentary they were like uh what um uh when they would get abducted every night the aliens would like wipe their memories so they again i have no like verification if this was real or not <laughs> but like they were saying that if they got if they got abducted that they would um they would wipe their memories every night so then they wouldn't actually know if they got abducted the night before or if they didn't wipe their memories they would just um make them think it was a dream so then i was so terrified that i was gonna go to sleep and have a dream that i got abducted and then not know if it was a dream or not and then just have to live my life like that like thinking that i had just been abducted or i wasn't really sure if i was abducted or not and uh so that's what was going on with seven year old me um were you afraid of aliens to that point when you were a child or were you normal no i feel like that was normal i feel like most of us were very scared of aliens if we had like remote exposure to media what farm layout am I using? Uh, I don't remember. Is there a way to tell? It's like a regular one. It's just like the regular, I think. Yeah, yeah, we just did like the normal, the normal one. I'm doing this from PlayStation. So, um, it's, uh, yeah, it is the default farm then. Thank you, Sarah, for the, the thank you for the validation. Um, I really like it that way. Um, but like I said, I'm doing it from PS4, so we don't have all the cool new ones yet. So hopefully we'll get that we'll get that soon. Dads have no idea what a child is capable of. Yeah, the measurement. My dad's gauge for what I couldn't couldn't handle is like it was just it was non-existent. The man just thought I was bulletproof, which is fine sometimes, but really uh it <laughs> led to a lot of other experiences in life. <laughs> See, did you see that the government has to release all classified info on extraterrestrial life within the next few days? I, I am, we are, we are living in a constant state of, um, cool. There you go. You got what you needed. Uh, we are living in a constant state of historical events. I was saying this the other day. Can't, if, again, if I'm repeating myself, if it was on stream, sorry, but you're gonna have to hear it again. <laughs> um, we're living in a constant state of um, a historical event. Like when you read about like the 19 whatevers or you, or even like, even like old shit, like a century where you're like, damn, it was just like fucked up for like a hundred years there. Wasn't it? It was just like nonstop stuff going on. Um, that's what's happening to us right now. I feel like, I feel like we're just living in this constant state of like one historical event after another. Like, like what paragraph are we in of, you know, whatever nickname they're going to give this era like it's 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 got to be some student a hundred years from now is doing the century from now version of a highlighting a, t a textbook of what we're going through of that exact chat in this twitch stream josh <laughs> yo did you hear the government's gonna have to release all the information on extraterrestrials like literally what i cannot process that physically emotionally mentally like it's not something i'm capable of right now <laughs> x-files started the year you were born so you're raised with aliens basically yeah dude i think that's what most of us went through too uh i don't think there's anything i want to buy from here lava katana sick all right um what else do we have well let's see what's going on with gil is that really that's our reward i don't want it can i sell this to you no god damn it great i'm so glad we worked so hard for that Oh, also, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your username. I, Ioki, I okay, I okay, I okay, I okay. Uh, but hi, welcome. Thanks for uh, hanging out and joining us in a, in the middle of our very intense alien conversation, <laughs> and uh, uh, asking about our farm layout. Are you playing on PC or do you do you play Stardew on 
on console because playing on console is genuinely frustrating uh, because you have to wait so long for the updates. <laughs> I can't wait till I get my new PC. It's gonna be it's gonna be a, a a red letter day. Is that the phrase? I think that's the phrase. We gotta kill more slimes, but we're getting there with the bats and the skeletons. We'll go a little bit deeper. Oh, you know what I want to do? Stardew needs a UFO event. You get those meteorites, that's about it. And then sometimes when you go to bed at night, um, you get, uh, like when it's showing you your stats for the day, sometimes a UFO flies around in the background, but that's about all I've got. <laughs> all right, let's see what he likes. Oh, okay, he likes purple mushroom. Um, what did he want? Void essence. Oh, we like, we have that almost certainly. Um, let me, let me go home. Cause I didn't see Abigail. No, wait, I'm getting, I'm getting too wrapped up. I'm going to have to go see the wizard. Is today the third day of the market? It is, huh? Cause that means it's the wizard's birthday. So I got to go bring him shit. So I should, I should just go hop in the mines and get in that cart and go home. Because we need to make sure we give him his gift. Bus stop. All right. Yeah, something freaky should pop out of the meteor. I agree, Sarah. I'd be fine with a Sasquatch too. <laughs> we should definitely have some sort of Sasquatchian character. I'd be very happy with that. Uh, get rid of this and that and this and that. Uh, yeah, that's good. No, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. There is that, there's a weird ass bear that pops up in year two, a talking bear that never shows up again. Well, that's close enough. I was going to, what was I going to do? Right. Okay. Um, Void Essence, uh, which he wants for a thing, but also he likes it as a gift. So I'm just going to take two of these bad boys because we don't have, unless I have any, well, we never get purple mushrooms, so I really don't want to give him that. Yeah. All right, let's go. Too bad I already drank my coffee. <laughs> I wish we had our horse. Not yet, though. We'll get there. Wormies. Nice. Oh, I was gonna... Damn it. Oh, I'm just... I'm so... I'm rushing, and so I'm forgetting all the stuff that I want. I wanted to bring that dish of the sea with me, so we gotta go back to my house again. But that's fine. That means I can take that red mushroom out of my pocket if we don't see Abigail and that root that I just picked up. I don't know where she is. Maybe I should keep it with me because maybe she'll be at the market. <laughs> now go. There you go. There you go. Cool. Boom. And we just made money for it. So that was actually perfect timing because I want to buy shit. All right. I'm trying to hurry. And you know what? Don't we have a beach totem? I think we do. So I should totally use that. That'll save us some time. That'll kind of make up for this. Or should I just... Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm going. I'm going. So that way we can fish a lot, too. I have heard about the Abigail as the wizard's daughter theory. You know what's funny is I don't remember any of that dialogue uh, that people refer to it with. Um, like, I don't remember any... I don't remember experiencing any of that with um, Caroline. So, wait, where is it? Is it in here? But yes, I have, I have heard that and I, uh, I'm a huge fan of it. Fuck Pierre. <laughs> here we go. What do you got to say? Oh, I hate working at Jojo Mart. How else am I going to make money? That's fair. Uh, Alex, you, you're not the most exciting person yourself. Elliot, I love you. Where's, I, I was hoping Abigail would be here. All right, ma'am, what do you have for me? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. 
Nope. Nothing for me. Hmm. That's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, stone owl, thank you. Owls are one of my favorite animals, so that's definitely coming onto my farm. Um... I really hope we can get that cone hat next year. <laughs> the people that show up every night are different. Oh, yay! How cute is that? I thought I noticed that the last couple nights. But the only problem with that is, uh, that means we don't have... I don't think Abigail's gonna be here. Is the mermaid show the same every night? Because if it is, I won't I won't go do it again, but I, actually I might. I really liked it. 